This is the LRN Listening Examination, January 2020. Entry Level 3, B1. Section 1. Listen to nine short conversations. For questions 1 to 9, choose the best answer. A, B or C. You will hear each conversation twice. You now have two minutes to read the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. One, getting a pet. I'm thinking of getting a pet, Tom, but I can't decide on a cat or a dog. With your busy schedule, Jessica, a cat is a better choice. Dogs are not independent like cats are, and you can't leave them alone. But still, cats do need looking after. I am not sure you will have enough free time for a pet. It'll be difficult, Tom, but I'll manage. I'm thinking of getting a pet, Tom, but I can't decide on a cat or a dog. With your busy schedule, Jessica, a cat is a better choice. Dogs are not independent like cats are, and you can't leave them alone. But still, cats do need looking after. I am not sure you will have enough free time for a pet. It'll be difficult, Tom, but I'll manage. 2. At a party This is the largest house party we've been to in years. There are so many people. Isn't it great, Maria? Well, not exactly, Alex. The music is too loud. I can't hear what anyone's saying. I'm thinking of leaving the party early. It's no secret you aren't a party person, Maria. But can't you just relax and have fun? This is the largest house party we've been to in years. There are so many people. Isn't it great, Maria? Well, not exactly, Alex. The music is too loud. I can't hear what anyone's saying. I'm thinking of leaving the party early. It's no secret you aren't a party person, Maria. But can't you just relax and have fun? 3. At the restaurant 
It was really nice of them to offer us a drink at the bar until our table is ready, wasn't it, Tommy? I'm glad they did, Eliza. I can't stand waiting in line to eat. Actually, we're lucky to even get a table at such a popular restaurant without making a reservation. It was really nice of them to offer us a drink at the bar until our table is ready. Wasn't it, Tommy? I'm glad they did, Eliza. I can't stand waiting in line to eat. Actually, we're lucky to even get a table at such a popular restaurant without making a reservation. 4. Shampoo What's this new shampoo you bought, Max? You know I don't like changing shampoos. Firstly, it's good to change shampoos regularly, Zoe. And secondly, this shampoo is supposed to help hair regrow. My hair is not falling out, Max, and I don't think yours is either. As for changing shampoos being good for you, that's a myth. The old shampoo was fine. What's this new shampoo you bought, Max? You know I don't like changing shampoos. Firstly, it's good to change shampoos regularly, Zoe. And secondly, this shampoo is supposed to help hair regrow. My hair is not falling out, Max, and I don't think yours is either. As for changing shampoos being good for you, that's a myth. The old shampoo was fine. 5. Booking a flight Should I book two window seats, Rosie? They're more expensive than other seats, though, and it will mean we won't be sitting next to each other. I think it's worth it, Henry. We'll be able to rest much more easily. I agree. Do you prefer the front or the back of the plane? Should I book two window seats, Rosie? They're more expensive than other seats, though, and it will mean we won't be sitting next to each other. I think it's worth it, Henry. We'll be able to rest much more easily. I agree. Do you prefer the front or the back of the plane? 6. A change of plans I think I'll take the kids to the amusement park on Saturday afternoon, Theo. Didn't you hear, Eva? A big storm is expected during the weekend, so the park will be closed. What a pity! The kids will be disappointed if they have to stay at home. Why don't you take them to the cinema to see a film instead? That's a great idea. I'll see what's on. I think I'll take the kids to the amusement park on Saturday afternoon, Theo. Didn't you hear, Eva? A big storm is expected during the weekend, so the park will be closed. What a pity! The kids will be disappointed if they have to stay at home. Why don't you take them to the cinema to see a film instead? That's a great idea. I'll see what's on. 7. Photographing mountains How did you get interested in photographing mountains, Harry? Well, six years ago, my brother, who's a mountain climber, asked me to climb a mountain with him and take photos, and I loved it. Since then, I've taken pictures of all the mountains in our country, many of which were in my latest exhibition. Next year, I'm going to start photographing famous mountains in other countries, too. I can't wait for your next exhibition. How did you get interested in photographing mountains, Harry? Well, six years ago, my brother, who's a mountain climber, asked me to climb a mountain with him 
and take photos, and I loved it. Since then, I've taken pictures of all the mountains in our country, many of which were in my latest exhibition. Next year, I'm going to start photographing famous mountains in other countries too. I can't wait for your next exhibition. Eight dinner arrangements. Why didn't you call me to let me know you would not be on time for dinner, Anne? I'm so sorry, Chris. While I was shopping, I met my best friend from high school. We had so much to talk about. Why didn't you call me to let me know you would not be on time for dinner, Anne? I'm so sorry, Chris. While I was shopping, I met my best friend from high school. We had so much to talk about. Nine, a winter cruise. I'm not going on a cruise in winter, George. Why not, Vicky? It'll be relaxing as there won't be many people on board, and it'll be much cheaper than a summer cruise. But the weather could change at any time and ruin our holiday. So I guess it'll be a winter holiday in a mountain village again. How boring! I'm not going on a cruise in winter, George. Why not, Vicky? It'll be relaxing as there won't be many people on board, and it'll be much cheaper than a summer cruise. But the weather could change at any time and ruin our holiday. So I guess it'll be a winter holiday in a mountain village again. How boring! Section two. Listen to three longer conversations. For questions ten to fifteen. Choose the best answer, A, B, or C. You will hear each conversation twice. You now have one minute to read the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Driving in the rain. What made you decide to drive in such weather, Stephanie? There have been thunderstorm warnings since yesterday. Didn't you hear any of them? I did, but I had no other option, Paul. Rex was sick again, and I had to take him to the vets. Poor thing, he was so scared of the lightning that he didn't stop barking. Weren't you frightened too, Stephanie? I was terrified. On the way back, it rained so hard that I couldn't see the road ahead. I was afraid I was going to have an accident, so I parked the car and waited until the rain stopped. Why didn't you call me? I tried, but I had no signal. Anyhow. I'm glad you made it back home all right. What made you decide to drive in such weather, Stephanie? There have been thunderstorm warnings since yesterday. Didn't you hear any of them? I did, but I had no other option, Paul. Rex was sick again, and I had to take him to the vets. Poor thing, he was so scared of the lightning. 
that he didn't stop barking. Weren't you frightened too, Stephanie? I was terrified. On the way back, it rained so hard that I couldn't see the road ahead. I was afraid I was going to have an accident, so I parked the car and waited until the rain stopped. Why didn't you call me? I tried, but I had no signal. Anyhow, I'm glad you made it back home all right. Old Bananas These bananas in the refrigerator are too old to eat, Eleanor. Shall I throw them away? No, don't do that, Nick. They may not be suitable for eating, but they are perfect for banana bread. The older the banana is, the sweeter it gets. Really? So when are you going to make this banana bread? Well, I've got all the ingredients except eggs. If you run to the supermarket to get some now, I can make it after dinner. If you want, I can make chocolate banana bread. Banana and chocolate, an excellent combination. Should I also get chocolate chips then? These bananas in the refrigerator are too old to eat, Eleanor. Shall I throw them away? No, don't do that, Nick. They may not be suitable for eating, but they are perfect for banana bread. The older the banana is, the sweeter it gets. Really? So when are you going to make this banana bread? Well, I've got all the ingredients except eggs. If you run to the supermarket to get some now, I can make it after dinner. If you want, I can make chocolate banana bread. Banana and chocolate, an excellent combination. Should I also get chocolate chips then? Good advice. So, when is the big day, Bill? On Monday. Any ideas for a successful first job interview, Melina? Well, first you should think of what clothes to wear. I'm thinking of wearing a suit and tie. Great choice. Suits are always good for a job interview. I also suggest you go online and find some information about the company. That's a good idea. Another important thing to do is prepare what you are going to say. For example, why you think you are the best candidate for the job. That's all good advice, Melina. But I'm afraid that even if I do all that, I'll feel so stressed that I won't appear confident. Don't worry, you'll do great. So, when is the big day, Bill? On Monday. Any ideas for a successful first job interview, Melina? Well, first you should think of what clothes to wear. I'm thinking of wearing a suit and tie. Great choice. Suits are always good for a job interview. I also suggest you go online and find some information about the company. That's a good idea. Another important thing to do is prepare what you are going to say. For example, why you think you are the best candidate for the job. That's all good advice, Melina. But I'm afraid that even if I do all that, I'll feel so stressed that I won't appear confident. Don't worry, you'll do great. Section 3. Listen to Michael's message for his friend Rita. For questions 16 to 20, choose the best answer. A, B or C. You will hear the message twice. You now have one minute to look at the questions. Mark your answers on the separate answer sheet.
Hi, Rita. I know you enjoy the countryside as much as I do, so I want to tell you about a fantastic day out I had yesterday with my cousin George at an animal farm. It's called City Farm, and it's located just outside our town. It's very old. In fact, it's over one hundred and fifty years old. City Farm is open seven days a week, from nine a.m. to five p.m., but it's closed on every public holiday. There are no wild animals on the farm, but just coming so close to real farm animals is a fantastic experience. Let me tell you about my day there. First of all, City Farm is free to enter. We arrived at the farm at ten o'clock on Saturday morning. No cars or motorbikes are allowed inside the farm, so my cousin left his car at the nearby car park, and we arrived at the farm on foot. The owner of the farm welcomed us at the entrance and then drove us in a small electric car to the restaurant, where we enjoyed a delicious and cheap home-cooked breakfast. After that, we joined some other visitors on a guided tour of the farm, which lasted two hours. We first visited the milking room, where the guide explained. How they got milk from the cows, and then we went to the dairy room, where we learned how cheese and yogurt are made. Then the guide showed us all the big farm animals like cows, pigs, and sheep. We didn't go near the cows, but we walked near the sheep and fed some pigs. Afterwards, we visited the small animals corner. Where there were rabbits, chickens, dogs, and cats, I held a small white rabbit. It was so cute. After that, the guide took us to the stables, where we saw some really beautiful horses. The farm offers riding lessons at low prices, so my cousin and I both decided to ride a horse. I must say, going horse riding was the best part of our visit. Unfortunately, just after we finished riding, it started raining, so we left earlier than we had planned. I'd love to visit City Farm again soon. Maybe we could go together. What do you think? Talk later, Michael. Listen to Michael's message again. Hi, Rita. I know you enjoy the countryside as much as I do, so I want to tell you about a fantastic day out I had yesterday with my cousin George at an animal farm. It's called City Farm, and it's located just outside our town. It's very old. In fact, it's over one hundred and fifty years old. City Farm is open seven days a week, from nine a.m. to five p.m., but it's closed on every public holiday. There are no wild animals on the farm, but just coming so close to real farm animals is a fantastic experience. Let me tell you about my day there. First of all, City Farm is free to enter. We arrived at the farm at ten o'clock on Saturday morning. No cars or motorbikes are allowed inside the farm, so my cousin left his car at the nearby car park, and we arrived at the farm on foot. The owner of the farm welcomed us at the entrance and then drove us in a small electric car 
to the restaurant where we enjoyed a delicious and cheap home cooked breakfast. After that, we joined some other visitors on a guided tour of the farm, which lasted two hours. We first visited the milking room, where the guide explained how they got milk from the cows, and then we went to the dairy room, where we learned how cheese and yogurt are made. Then the guide showed us all the big farm animals like cows, pigs, and sheep. We didn't go near the cows, but we walked near the sheep and fed some pigs. Afterwards, we visited the small animals corner where there were rabbits, chickens, dogs, and cats. I held a small white rabbit. It was so cute. After that, the guide took us to the stables where we saw some really beautiful horses. The farm offers riding lessons at low prices, so my cousin and I both decided to ride a horse. I must say, going horse riding was the best part of our visit. Unfortunately, just after we finished riding, it started raining, so we left earlier than we had planned. I'd love to visit City Farm again soon. Maybe we could go together. What do you think? Talk later, Michael.